everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook ground beef and refried bean tostadas. Now this is a perfect midweek dinner. It's really really fast to make. Uh, it's great for maybe uh, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, really great for when you have a really busy evening like the kids get home late or you have sports or recitals or whatever's going on. Uh, it's a really fast dinner and it's fun for everyone to make. They can just grab it and go. Okay, so on my stovetop, I have a large frying pan and it's been preheating with about a half a tablespoon of peanut oil. I like peanut oil because it's a little bit more authentic uh, with Tex-Mex cooking uh, than like maybe another kind of oil, okay? So peanut just gives a little bit extra good flavor. If you've never made tostadas before, this is what these guys look like. They are a flat, hard um, corn chip. They can be white corn or yellow corn. And these guys are, you know, relatively flat. They're a little bit rippled. I like to use them this way, kind of so that it cups the ingredients and holds more on there. But they're rather sturdy. And I'm just preheating some in my oven on, I don't know, maybe 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna go until my ground beef uh, gets saute. So I'm using uh, just over a pound of beautiful lean, extra lean ground beef. That's why I'm using the peanut oil uh, because it, this doesn't have much fat. So into the hot frying pan it goes and we are going to ground up this meat. So you're just going to break that meat up in your frying pan and you're going to continue to do that. Let me put this here just to show you. You're going to break that meat up like that and brown it all the way, okay? If you're not using extra lean ground beef, uh, you may get some extra fat rendering while you're cooking, and you're just going to drain that off after you've finished browning before you start adding a whole bunch of spices because you'll lose uh, some of the spices with the oil if you season it now. So I'm going to season mine now because I do have the extra lean and nothing's going to be poured off. Use some freshly ground black pepper. Also on my stove top, I have a frying pan going with a pat of butter and some refried beans. So either you can make your own refried beans, you can check out my recipe on how to do that, it'll be at the bottom of the screen, or you can just use the canned variety, whatever you want. I'm using some uh, refried pinto beans today, and I haven't seasoned them up, so I'm gonna season them up at the same time, basically with the same uh, spices, just to get some good flavor. Pepper. I'm gonna use a couple dashes of cumin in the ground beef and the refried beans. I'm going to use just a few dashes of chipotle pepper. Uh, the chipotle is quite spicy, it, uh, like hot spicy, and it has a nice smokiness to it. Otherwise, you can use cayenne pepper or just plain chili pepper if you don't have chipotle. But you don't need a lot of that. Um, now I'm gonna use some ancho chili powder. This is spicy as in savory spicy. It's almost like a spiced raisin. It's that mild. It's uh, dried and ground poblano peppers, roasted, dried and ground, right? You can add a lot more of that. It has good color and it has lovely flavor. We tend to go very light on the salt in our house. So you can salt your own at the table or just add a, a hint now. Uh, it will be to your taste level. But don't forget, your cheese that you're, you're fixing uh, are going to have salt as well as your tostadas that are in the oven. These chips have are salted as well. If you want to add some cilantro to your refried beans or your ground beef, feel free to do that as well. All right, this meal calls for a couple dashes of hot sauce to each. great refried beans is the butter. So allow that butter to really soak into your beans. If you see your beans are starting to get dry, you can add a little bit of water, you can add a little bit of stock, you could even add a little bit of beer if you really felt like it, but just thin it out with a little bit of water again. Now your beef will probably take up to 10 minutes to brown and just keep on working it through. Now I've got my fixins uh, ready. Uh, you could be doing that right now while your beef is browning. I have some shredded lettuce, I've got grated cheese, I've got some sour cream, some diced tomatoes, lime wedges, some fresh cilantro uh, minced up, and hot sauce, of course. If you wanted to make a salsa, I've got some great salsa recipes there at the bottom of the screen. Also, guacamole is a beautiful, beautiful touch as well. All right, my refried beans are ready. And my beef is ready, it's nice and brown. I add maybe a quarter of a cup of water to this. Um, you can use stock again, or an alcohol if you wanted to. And uh, I just let it kind of stew the beef for a couple seconds there, a couple, maybe even a minute. 
um, just to make sure that all of those spices are evenly distributed and everything's coated. Everything looks nice and it smells so good. Uh, our tostadas are nice and crispy and warm in the oven and we're ready to create these guys. This is a fantastic, uh, fun family dinner if you're looking for something like that or even a birthday dinner for kids. Kids love to assemble things all together and it's a lot of fun to do that. So this is a nice idea, tacos, burritos, any kind of Tex-Mexy thing, kids would really love. All right, these guys are warm and crispy. Again, you're gonna see one side is concave and one side is convex. So use the concave side up so that you can hold things better. All your fixings. Let me show you how I get these together. I start with refried beans. That's your glue for anything in Tex-Mex cuisine. It keeps everything kind of sturdy on the bottom and grabs onto it, um, as opposed to putting like lettuce on the bottom, which is really flimsy, right? So go on and get these guys refried up. Make sure you do a taste test on your beans and your meat to make sure that it's the right flavor for you. Next, I like to put the beef. I like to keep everything warm on the bottom. Together, gorgeous. Tonight I needed a fast, fast dinner and this was the quickest thing I could come up with. All right, now I put the cheese on because now the cheese can melt on these warm ingredients, right? For the cheese. I'm using cheddar tonight, but you could use any kind of a Tex-Mex cheese or um, whatever kind you have on hand even. Mozzarella even works in a pinch. Then I'm going to put my tomatoes. I'm having a little bit of a guac mash here, so I'm gonna put, put a dab of that in the middle of mine. I have some freshly minced cilantro. That's going on mine. I love cilantro, the more the better. I'm gonna serve these guys with wedges of lime for people and I'll have all some of these fixings just out, especially the hot sauce and the sour cream. Now it's all about glue again. I need some glue for my lettuce, so I'm gonna use a little bit of sour cream. These are doctored up. They're fun to eat. Don't overpile them, but it's really hard not to. Because <laughs> they're fun like that. And then you need lots of lettuce to make it extra fun. The lettuce is going to be held on now by your guac or your, your sour cream. So hold it on there just a little bit better. Because lettuce, the lettuce is the first thing to fall off. And of course, I want hot sauce. And that goes on the top of me. I like everything spicy. Let's get rid of these. Keep things warm for everyone though. Serve that with a wedge of lime. And that's my idea of a great Friday night. <laughs> Check those guys out. These are bad boys right here. All right, so I'm gonna squirt my lime on here. Now let me try one for you. These aren't meant to be neat and tidy. All right, ready? Let's do this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mmm. I'm doing pretty good here without making a mess. <laughs> I told you, these guys are surprisingly sturdy. Um, look at all that it's holding. It's like a mile-high tostada. That's how I roll. Anyhow, it's delicious. Look at this, all this fun. Um, what a lovely combo. Classic combo. Ground beef. Uh, the refried beans. You can have jalapenos in here if you want to. You could add some corn if you wanted to. There's so many options. You could add a couple black beans to this or not even use the refried beans. Just use whole beans. So many options. Mmm. 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 Those are fantastic. <laughs> I don't want to put it down and talk to you. <laughs> These are fantastic. I love Mexican night, any kind of Mexican night, <laughs> and they're fantastic. You're gonna love these, they're easy to do. The kids are gonna love them. You're gonna have fun eating them. You know, time to be a kid sometimes. Anyhow, the, the crunchy uh, tostadas, I love that corn flavor, that hard shell, delicious. Um, you can use the same premise with any kind of ground meat that you wanted to use. You could use chicken or turkey or pork. Uh, you could use any of those meats, uh, not ground. You could use a nice fajita beef, uh, fajita style or a steak on here, uh, nice strips of pork. You could use shredded chicken. Oh, that would be fantastic too. Anyhow, get out there and try this. You're gonna love these. And that's how right? you do it. That's how you cook ground beef and refried bean tostadas. So easy, you're gonna love them. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. 
like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. All right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Woo.